Hi guys, it's Crystal from Design Bundles. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and use a font from Design Bundles. So let's go ahead and get started. Over here in Design Bundles, this is the fonts that we're going to be using. This is a mega package, guys. It's over 100 fonts, amazing, great deal, super, super affordable. Definitely check it out. So when you download this, you can download them as you want to, or you can download them all at one time. So you can see here, I'm just clicking TTF, and then you're just going to click on whichever one you're wanting to use at the moment. Or like I said, go through them all, install them all on your computer. So what you want to do is completely exit out of Cricut Design Space, come back in and they're going to be there. You're going to click text, you're going to go up to your font and you can simply look up the one that you just downloaded and it's going to pop right up. After that, you can use letter spacing to bring it in or you can use your advanced feature to, um, to ungroup them individual and then move them over just like so. And then once you get them exactly where you want them, all you're going to do is hit select and then attach and actually, let me back that up, you're gonna to wanna to hit Wells. If you hit Attach, it's gonna cut all those little tiny marks where you don't want it to. So if you hit Weld, it's gonna make it all one smooth motion. All right, now that we've got everything, so what we're gonna use is the Cricut Joy today, and I'm gonna use their Smart Vinyl. So I don't need a map for this, I'm simply gonna be able to just load it right in, even if it goes in Cricut, like there. It's just gonna fix itself, I love it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my iPad, I'm going to um, choose the settings, tell it that it's smart vinyl, and go. So this is going to cut it out for us. It's going to quickly go through all of that. And then in the meantime, I'm showing you guys like these tumblers right here are an on Amazon. And then what you're going to do is take an alcohol wipe and then just wipe everything down. And then that's it. So we're simply just waiting on our design to pop out here. And once it does... This stuff is almost a little bit different where you could just weed it with your fingers. So I'm gonna take scissors first of all, and I'm gonna cut off half of this. And then you think, well, we can no longer feed this piece either, but you can still use it on your mat. So you definitely can re reuse the other side. So you're just gonna use your fingers at first and you could definitely weed away the excess and then um, get out your little pieces there. I also want to mention a great tip for this backing here, the plastic. It's a little bit thicker than the paper that normally comes on like vinyl and stuff. And you could actually use it like for either stencil, so save it and then use it for stencil stuff. So load it back on your mat and cut it out like a stencil because it's like a plastic, if you will. And then you can also um, use it for like a paint palette or whatever. So here I'm just using some transfer tape and then I'm just going to get it down, get it rubbed in there really well, flip it over and roll off the back. So just kind of swoop it off here and then it'll be ready to go. So make sure once again that your cup has been rubbed down with alcohol first because if not, it's just going to make it to where this is not going to adhere very well. So you're just going to tilt your cup, figure out which direction you want this to go in. And then what I like to do is just drop down the center of this design first, rub right across the center, and then I'll roll one way and then the other. And that's how I do it on these surfaces here. Um, and I love these tumblers. They're just absolutely amazing. Like I said, you could definitely find these on Amazon. They usually sell them in bundles. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my um, Cricut tool here and rubbing everything in. And then I will take my transfer tape and get it at an angle there and peel it right off. This cup will last forever. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.